สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a and we made it to the end of the week. It's Friday, July 7th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. The family and friends of Daniel Andreev, a 10-year-old Ukrainian boy who survived drowning here in Phuket on May 2nd, have extended their heartfelt gratitude to all supporters after medics in Bangkok confirmed the boy's return to Phuket. Daniel arrived in Phuket today, and while he is still in a coma, doctors say he's showing steady progress in recovery, making his mother Ludmila believe in a man-made miracle by the Thai doctors, along with Thai and foreign supporters who keep donating money to bring her son back to life. The Ukrainian boy, who had survived 10 minutes of clinical death on May 2nd, had already shown significant improvement. He was initially receiving treatment here in Phuket, but after a call out for support. He was able to be transferred to Samiti Veg Hospital in Bangkok. It was his mother Ludmila's birthday last week, and as a symbolic birthday present to his mother, Danya made a clear attempt to breathe on his own when doctors manipulated the ventilator to make his mother even happier. Since last Wednesday, not only has he increased muscle and brain activity, but Danya has also been consuming regular food. In a statement, his mother stated, "Quote: This is the result of an incredible labor nourished by faith in Danya's recovery and love." And these are not only his family's faith and love; these are faith and love of all the people who responded to our plea for help and care about Danya. Now, a challenging road lies ahead. Danya requires a lot of help, but he wants to live, and he will. We are determined to bring him back to life. We will help him with his struggle. We will put every effort into it. We can do it. According to the Help Daniel Support Group, the most urgent matter, as of July 6th, was paying the balance of Daniel's hospital bills and covering the transportation costs, which are around 300,000 baht in total. Information on how to donate for Daniel is available at the website on your screen or in the link in the description. You can also visit the Help Daniel pages on Telegram, Facebook, or Instagram. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A special meeting was held yesterday in Phuket Town to clarify to tour business operators and guides about tourism safety and the laws that apply to people operating businesses that directly involve tourists here on the island. They didn't talk about the tourist rental jeep that had overturned on the hill road through Kamala about 12 hours prior to that meeting. The accident took place just before 9:30 p.m. on Wednesday night, involving what police described as a tourist rental jeep that had overturned on the hill road heading north to Kamala. One person was reported injured in the accident with a broken rib as the jeep struck one of the large roadside boulders that has been on the edge of the road there since the heavy rains last October when a landslide hit the area. The accident came just two days after Phuket Governor n a r o n g m u n c h e o on Monday held a slew of high-profile meetings, calling for all officials to ramp up efforts to prevent more tourists from dying on Phuket's roads, as 24 foreign nationals were killed on Phuket roads from January through April of this year. In addition, just this morning, a 73-year-old Thai national, a man, was rushed to a local hospital with head injuries after he was struck by a 25-year-old woman on a motorbike that slammed into the back of a bus that he was trying to board at that moment. That accident took place at about 6 a.m. this morning on Depkasatri Road in Mu 5 in s r i s u t o n The woman behind the motorbike was identified as Acting Sub Lieutenant Fadia m u n o who was also injured in the crash. Though police did not identify whether Fadia is a policewoman or served with a branch of the military. Either way, yesterday's meeting saw a slew of agencies and organizations represented, including the Tourist Police, Tourism Business Office, Transportation Office, Marine Office, and more. With special focus given to the issue of renting cars and motorbikes to tourists, namely that rental operators issue a fair contract and provide helmets to customers. Meanwhile, tourism-related businesses yesterday were also told to focus on safety, as boat drivers must obey the law and boats are to be properly registered and have safety equipment on board. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The new prime minister is likely to be installed within the first three joint sessions of the House of Representatives and the Senate, scheduled for the next two weeks, according to Deputy House Speaker-elect Bichit Chua Mongpan. 
The first of the three sessions takes place July 13th, followed by July 19th and July 20th. Officials say that this should give ample time for the election of a new premier for the kingdom. At the moment, the allies within the proposed coalition government, which consists of eight parties, favor Move Forward Party leader Pita Limjan Ronrat as the next prime minister. The coalition holds 312 votes in the House, though they will need the support of at least 64 others, possibly senators, to secure the 376 needed to endorse Pita as the new prime minister. The voting will take place among 250 military-appointed senators and 500 elected MPs in the House of Representatives. When asked if Putai would assume the lead of the coalition bloc if the three sessions failed to elect Pita as the prime minister, Bidget said that would depend on the parliament and other coalition parties. For more, visit the link in the description. The National Institute for Emergency Medicine, known as NIEM, is looking to settle overdue payments to rescue foundations nationwide for emergency response services, announcing the dispersal of 969 million bot budget. This week, complaints were made by eight rescue foundations in the northeast of the country for lack of financial support from the Institute for several months. NIEM usually provides financial support to rescue foundations twice a month, but a spokesperson for NIEM stated that a prolonged glitch in their database system has caused a massive delay. They've been looking to streamline their database since March, but since then, they've had to do everything manually, adding to the delay. The overdue payments are set to be cleared in September before the new fiscal year kicks off in October, according to NIEM, as cited in a report in the Bangkok Post. NIEM gave assurances that this new payment database is more secure and more widely accessible. The overdue payments for services rendered from October last year to February of this year are expected to be dispersed in August and September, which precedes the onset of the new fiscal year in October, according to the Bangkok Post. For more, visit the link in the description. Thanks so much for joining us on this edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Have a great weekend out there, stay safe, and we'll see you back next week. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.